Hi, welcome to the Celtic School of Yoga. I'm Benita Wolf, and this is Jack Harrison. We're here to present a little playful inversion practice. So just any contraindications would be eye problems or any high blood pressure, hypertension medication, anything like that, please consult your medical advisor before starting this practice or any practice, that's always a good idea. Take a comfortable seat <laughs> and close your eyes. <laughs> Connect into your core channel, that place that is in alignment between your pelvis, your heart and your mind. And remember that it doesn't end there. You're deeply rooted in embodiment. The physical expression of love that is you in your earth body. So just actively anchor your roots into the earth and then bring your awareness back into your pelvis, through your heart and through your mind. And then remember and imagine like a growing tree rooted in the earth and branching into the heavens through your mind. You, you are not, we are not limited to this physical space that you occupy in your body. And so connected to the earth, connected to your, to the heavens, and then let your awareness center in your heart. Settle into your breath. I invite you to just set an intention, just to open to other perspectives. You know, if you get caught into something, just open to something bigger, to that spacious perspective that everything is connected and that we are all connected in love and that this time of isolation and sacred distancing is actually going to be helpful and beneficial to all. Bring your hands wherever you feel most connected to the source that weaves us all together. You can bring, leave them on your lap, bring them to your heart, how, wherever you feel most connected. And we'll start with one hum. The humming like the bees as they sit in the, the winter and they just quietly sit in their hive. Exhale together. Inhale together. And on an exhale, release your hands. Keeping your awareness centered in your heart space. Allow your eyes to softly open and receive a new perspective. And then please come to all fours. Wherever you place your body, whatever you're touching is considered the foundation in this practice. So fingers spread radiant like the sun. And then place your fingertips, just your fingertips on the, the earth, the mat. And the middle of your wrist, I mean the, the wrist creases, are going to be parallel with the front edge of the mat. And the middle of your wrist as wide as your outer shoulders. So fingertips down, inner edge, outer edge, wrist creases straight across with the front edge of the mat. And the middle of the wrist as wide as your outer shoulders. And then come up into all fours. So your knees are under your hips and the toes turn over for this. So for this, it just helps open your feet, open your toes, because um, <laughs> open the, the soles of your feet. Take a deep inhale and on your exhale, just settle your hands, feel your knees, feel your toes. On your next inhale from your hips, 
Lengthen your side bodies forward so that the shoulders lift towards your ears and at the back of your heart you settle. Keep your arms strong, spread your fingers, arms strong, toes spread. Take a deep inhale and on your exhale, round into your upper back. Inhale, soften your heart towards the earth, tilt your sit bones. And four more, just like that. Moving through cat cows, inhaling and exhaling. Breathe. Keeping your hands and your feet steady. Moving with a new perspective in your spine and your core. Two. And one. And an inhale, stretch your left leg straight behind you. And strong arms, strong left leg, push into your hands and legs and just lift your right leg up. And then exhale, lower your right knee, switch legs, bring your right leg straight back, toes on the floor, strong arms, strong hands. From your pelvis, push down into your hands and leg. Lift your other knee and lower. There you go. Those are gonna be key actions for later. Inhale, stretch your left leg back. Press your right leg back. Downward facing dog. Press back, lift your hips to down dog. Bend your knees. Look between your hands. Spread your fingers, push your fingers down. From your heart, stretch your arms straight. From your heart, stretch up through your hips. Stretch your heels towards the earth. Bend your knees again. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. <laughs> Bring your hands on your hips. Shoulders up and back. Push into the earth. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, release. Come to the front of your mat, please. Starting with your feet, sit bone distance away apart, so a neutral stance. Heels under sit bones, middle of the ankles in alignment with the base of your second toe. And then close your eyes for a moment. Feel the soles of your feet. Notice if you're front, back, right, and left, and bring yourself into the center. Notice where your pelvic floor is. Bring your awareness to your heart space and to your mind. And then bring your awareness to the center channel that uh, is this axis of life that spins the entire universe around you. And then bring your awareness back to your heart, open your eyes, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, release your hands. Two more, just like that. Inhale, so the breath leads you first. Exhale, and release your arms. And last one, inhale, your breath. Breath rides, the arms ride the way. Exhale, release your arms. This time, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees to touch the earth. Place your belly and your ribs on your thighs. Inhale, look forward, fingertips on the earth. Long spine, exhale, fold. Keep your ribs on your, on your thighs and stretch your legs straighter. Two more, just like that. Inhale, look forward, bending. Long spine, exhale, begin to stretch your legs straight. Keep your ribs on your thighs. And last one, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, ribs on your thighs, legs towards straight. Inhale, step your left leg back in a long lunge. Long lunge. Come high in your fingertips, strong legs. And step back into plank with your right leg, strong arms, strong legs. And then lift your thighs towards the sky, tailbone down, strong belly. And just everything, a couple breaths here, just holding plank. Two more. Strong belly, strong arms, strong feet, strong legs. 
And at your exhale, press back down, facing dog. Look between your hands. Inhale, sit, lift your right leg way high to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through your hands. Come high on your fingertips. Inhale, strong legs. Exhale, step your left foot forward, forward bend, and fold. Inhale, look forward. Belly on the thighs, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Hands on your hips. Lengthen your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze elbows and shoulders. Push into the earth. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms to the sky with your breath. Exhale, bend your knees, touch the earth. Open heart. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, belly on thighs, but start to stretch your legs straight, as long as you can keep your ribs on your thighs. Inhale, step your right leg back into a long lunge. High on your fingertips, strong back leg, strong arms. Step back, plank position. Strong legs, strong arms. Couple breaths here. Spread your fingers, squeeze your legs towards each other. Lift your thighs towards the sky and then lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Pull your belly in. From your pelvis, stretch through your heels. Stretch your hands away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread your toes on your feet. Spread your fingers. Strengthen your arms and legs all the way to your heart. From your heart, press back through your arms. From your heart, lift up through your sit bones. Stretch your heels towards the earth. Inhale, lift your left leg straight up to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Come high on your fingertips. Take a breath. Strong arms, strong back leg. Inhale, step your right foot forward into forward bend. And fold. Keeping your fold as long as to keep your ribs on your thighs, legs towards straight. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Legs strong, hands on your hips, shoulders up and back. Push into the earth. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, release. Bring your feet together for this one. So when we're going upside down, it's like this time, the whole world has been turned upside down. And so what happens, you know, we get all discombobulated. So what we want to do is stay in our center, like stay in the center of the hurricane, be still and steady where it's sunny and beautiful, even though there's a crazy pandemic storm flying all around. So bring your feet together, that's drawing into that center channel, your midline. And then lift your toes so it makes you, like you're putting on tight yoga pants, your skin moves to the muscle, to the bone, and draw all the way up into your pelvis. And then bring your hands behind your back and clasp. So it looks like this. So you clasp and weave your fingers together and place your thumbs at your low back. <clears throat> Keeping that with your breath, strong legs, lift your side bodies long. From your thumbs, take your shoulders back. Keep your throat open. Squeeze your elbows. Stretch your arms away from your booty back behind you. Open up your heart. Engage your wings. Squeeze your legs. Keeping all that, exhale, sit back like you're seated, seated on a chair. Place your ribs and belly, low ribs on your thighs. Sit way back. And then start to tuck your chin toward your chest. Maybe even tuck your forehead to your knees. Stretch your arms over more. Sit deeper. Keep squeezing and sitting deep. 
Inhale, lift your arms straight out in front of your, along your ears. Keep sitting back. Inhale, sit up for um, fierce chair pose. And on an exhale, lower your hands and fold. Inhale, slip forward. Exhale, step your right foot back and then your left foot back into a plank position. Strong arms, strong legs. On an inhale, come forward on your toes. So you're gonna actually rock forward on your toes. Exhale, bend your elbows, strong belly, lower all the way to the floor. <clears throat> Bring your feet together again, just like standing. Toenails on the floor. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Like a superhero, thumbs up to the sky. Squeeze your legs together. From your pelvis, press your feet down. Inhale, lift your armpits. On your exhale, press your sides of your hands down and draw them back so it draws all the way into your shoulders, into your body, into your heart. Keep squeezing your legs. Inhale, lift your thighs, lift your legs, lift your arms, sailing a couple breaths. Two, from your pelvis, stretch through your legs, stretch through your hands. Last one, inhale, lift your shoulders, lift your inner thighs, feet together. Exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your elbows, about where your sternum is, or where <laughs> your ribs are, or like I like to say, your bikini strap. <laughs> and then, squeeze your legs together. Press your feet down. Inhale, lengthen your shoulders towards your ears. From your hands, lift your shoulders towards the sky. Press your feet down again. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your hands, get, lift your hands, and then place your hands, press them down and back. Lift your heart all the way up. Stretch through your legs, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, come all the way back into all fours. Turn your toes under, and press back down to facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step your right leg through your hands. <clears throat> Charge your legs strongly. So, so much that your back heel is lifted and the back thigh is pressing up. Keep that, push down into the earth, lift your arms out in front of you. Keep rooting into the earth, inhale, lift your torso, lift your heart, head back. Throw back, heart open, how we see the highest perspective. Exhale, <laughs> release, hands on either side of your foot, step back into the plank, take a strong breath, strong arms, come forward on your toes, exhale all the way to your belly, point your toes, shoulders up and back, press through your feet, Press through your hands, inhale for cobra, shoulders back, heart forward, exhale, turn your knees over or press back, downward facing dog. Look between your hands. Inhale, step your left foot between your hands. Charge your legs. Back leg strong so your back heel is lifted. From your pelvis, push into the earth. Inhale, lift your arms. Root down into the earth. Inhale, lift your heart, shoulders back, throat back, head back. Keep the back leg strong. Root into the earth, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, release your hands. Step back into plank. <clears throat> Take a breath. On an exhale, come forward and all the way to the earth. Legs strong, toes on the ground. Inhale, come up for cobra. Shoulders up and back. Press your hands down and back. Shoulders back, heart forward. Exhale, come into all fours for this one. So a lot of this is warming up. You might be feeling a little warm now. 
that they'll teach the actions that we're going to be needing for that next process. On an inhale, stretch your right leg straight behind you. So we already did this. Make it strong and you can lift your belly. This time, lift your leg up straight behind you so your toes are towards the earth. And then cross it all the way over the midline. Squeeze your thighs. <laughs> and then inhale it back into the center. Lift your right hand out in front of you. Press it into the midline and squeeze your leg all the way over. So the hand is going out in front, squeezing, and your back leg. Inhale back into the center. Hug in. Exhale. Release. <clears throat> Inhale your other leg straight behind you. Place it on the floor. Make it strong. Inhale, lift it straight behind you, and then cross it all the way over. Squeeze your thighs. Keep that action of hugging in, but move your leg out to the side. You'll feel it if you squeeze into the midline. It's your abductors. Your, they draw into your middle. Lift your left leg, left arm. Push into your right hand, your other hand on the floor, and then cross. Press your left hand in the middle and cross your leg behind you and squeeze. So it's like making a little X. Like two of the X's of the four. <laughs> the kisses. Um, stretch it all the way back. Exhale, release. Stretch your right leg back in the plank. <clears throat> Stretch your uh, into a plank leg. Press your other leg back into plank. Press back down and facing dog. So here's another little <coughs> um, <coughs> action teaching thing. Bend your knees slightly. So the knees are bent slightly and then there's you curve your sit bones to the sky. It creates a curve in the lumbar spine. It's really good for your low back and your pelvis. This time bring your hands, uh, bend your elbows out to the side and look between your thumbs. So the reason I'm having you look between your thumbs is because that's where the gaze is for where we're going upside down. Helps open the throat, does all kinds of things. Also helps keep the shoulders engaged. Press your hands down, engage your bicep muscles, make the Popeye muscles. Keep looking between your thumbs, bring your shoulders onto your back. Keep all that and then stretch your arms straight so you stay in the middle, strong straight arms. Lift your sit bones, stretch your heels to the earth. Full stretch. Keep looking between your hands, bend your knees. Press your fingers down and like a little kid, um, like six month vacation, jump forward. <laughs> Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet all the way back together again. Inhale, look forward. Keep your ribs on your belly, long spine. Then start to keep the long spine and start to stretch your legs straight, but only to where you still have your ribs, your low ribs, you know, these guys touching your thighs, so I can still keep my thighs that straight. Keep that, bring your hands on your hips, shoulders up and back, push through the earth, inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, release. Last round before we go. Clasp your hands, so you'll clasp and weave your hands again, like a basket, bring your legs together. <clears throat> so weave your hands like a basket. And then stretch your arms straight out in front of you. So get them nice and straight. And then with your breath, lengthen your side body. From your hands, keep the whole thing, but plug your shoulders back in. So you drop all the way back there. Now keep that, keep squeezing, and then stretch it all the way over your head. Push through the earth. Stretch through your arms, then release your hands and make them so they're like standing on the roof. Oh yeah, like a standing upside down. Full stretch, root through your legs, press the ceiling away from you. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Exhale, touch the earth, bend your knees. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold, place your hands. Bend your knees and then jump back.
plank position. Come forward, exhale all the way to your belly. Strong legs, inhale, shoulders up and back, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Strong arm, so the left arm is gonna wanna fall, so keep that strong and lifted. Bend your knee, top knee, stack your hips. Uh, keep lifting your left shoulder and turn and open. Inhale back into the center. This time lift your bottom heel and then stretch your top leg straight and strong. Look between your hands. So feel this. Looking between your hands. Strong arms. Press through your arms. Lift your heels. Lift up higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Keep your right shoulder lifted, bend your top knee and turn. Lift right shoulder lifted and turn. Right shoulder lifted and turn. Inhale, back into the center. Stretch that leg way high, lift between your thumbs. Lift way high on your bottom heel. Stretch your top heel. Stretch down through your arms, stretching to the top leg. And exhale, release. Inhale, come into all fours. And the breath. So one more little strengthening one. So all those shapes and actions that we've done so far, we're gonna do them again. Except for this one. This one's just a straight arm. <laughs> so come and bring your elbows underneath your um, shoulders so that the elbows are directly under your shoulders. You don't want them too wide. You don't want them too close. So it's like a, an actual square. Actually, first make it a square. So it's like pretty much a 90 degree angle. Elbows under shoulders. Bring your hands together. So if this is newer to you, I recommend you clasp your hands with your little pinkies laying on top of each other. If you've done this before or it's not so new to you, you can bring your hands and press them together, like um, hands together like a prayer, <laughs> if you want to pray. <laughs> you might want to pray after this one. Just kidding. So stretch your right leg straight back. Press down, the focal point is gonna be all the way in your pelvis. So that's actually the most weight bearing. So from your pelvis, press your legs and then press your forearms to lift your other leg. And then five strong breaths here in a forearm plank. Spread your toes. Hug in in a deep hug all the way to your pelvis. Take your thighs to the sky. Lengthen your tailbone, strong belly, and press through your heels and your forearms. Four more breaths. Each one drawing in. You're always connected. We're all connected in love. Um, I think I have two more breaths. And at the end of your next exhale, Lower down to your knees. Woo. And come all the way up to standing on your knees. Alright, so I'm going to go upside down at the wall. So I forgot to say at the beginning, but make sure you have a clear wall space. And there's like no pictures or stuff around. We're not going to do any kicking or anything. We're just going to do basically L at the wall, one legged L at the wall, or three legged. Downward facing dog with one leg on the wall. So, <clears throat> come back to the wall. You'll back into it. Back into the wall. And then have your heel in a strong lunge. So, as, as much as you can on the wall. If we have a pretty big um, uh, thickness of base coat, uh, what are these things called? The, whatever, baseboard. <laughs> To the wall, so it actually, I love them, but it's blocking a little bit from the heel. So you want your heel in a lunge, knees under your hips, and then hands the same way 
that we started with. And then keep all that, we'll just do this one, and then lift up for downward facing dog. So it's like your heel is nice and high, like it was on that three-legged dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg way high, so we're not get going up yet. It's the same thing we did to start with, the first kind of pose we did. Strong arms, strong right leg, and then just lift your left leg off the floor. There you go. And then on an exhale, lower your left leg all the way down, and lower your right foot. Strong arms, look between your thumbs. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Get it as high as you can. So we, this is like a three-legged dog. From your heart, push into your hands. From your heart, strong leg, press into your left leg and lift your right leg up. Exhale, lower. And lower your leg. Come all the way down. So you can stop if at any stage of this. As a matter of fact, the skillful thing to do is the way you know if you're ready for the next thing, it builds and gets higher, a little bit higher, harder, it's like an unfolding of a flower, is if you're strong and flexible at one position, in one pose or one action that your teacher is asking you to do, then okay, so then you try the next one. If you feel weak and scared and wobbly or whatever, you want to work on that one before you move on. So that was number one. Next one, we're going to bring the legs up into what's called elephant ball. I think this is actually harder than the handstand. So, we'll give it a go. <laughs> bring your hands, heels to the wall, hands in good down dog hands, and if you can, start getting into a habit of placing your fingertips first. So the feet, you don't, if you keep jamming your wrist like this, eventually it can do stuff to your wrist. And so you just want to create patterns of movement that are balanced and actually heal and uplift your physical self and the rest of the world. So we'll come into all fours again. <clears throat> and here we go. Lift your hips. Down dog with heels at the wall. <laughs> On an inhale, lift your right leg way high. Keep looking between your hands. Push your arms straight. Lift your left leg and bring it right to your hip level. There you go. So where your hips are. And then bring your right leg next to it. Oh, yeah. Now the focal points in your heart, push your hands down. Stretch your heels to the wall. And on an exhale, bend your knees and come all the way down. <sighs> That's hard. It's harder than the bigger one. <laughs> it is a little bit hard. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, only out the wall with one leg up. Now we'll do, actually, let's do the other leg. Going up with the other leg. We're going to do the same one again. Lifting with the left leg. So please come to all fours again. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your hips. Heels up the wall. This time, lift your left leg way high. Strong arms, push into your arms, press your left leg into the wall, bring your right leg up to your heel. See, <laughs> I'm short on this one. Root into your arms, press your wall, legs straight. Exhale, release. Whew. Oh, no. It's way harder. <laughs> it is way harder than I am, Sam. Okay, next one. So, um, it's going to be in the shape of three legged dog, only you'll have one leg in an L at the wall, and the other leg straight up to the sky. All right, buckle up. So come to all fours, heels to the wall. <clears throat> Take a breath. Just because we're far away, we're always connected in love. Inhale, lift your hips. Stretch your right leg straight up to the sky. Now press 
your arms straight and your right leg straight and your left leg to the, to the wall. Push your left leg in and lift your right leg straight up. Root down through your legs, stretch into, I mean your hands, into your leg on the wall and stretch up. And exhale, bend your left knee, keep your right leg straight as you can and lower it down. Just touch down for a moment. Yeah, and come all the way down. That touch down for a moment is gonna go touch down for a moment and back up. We'll do that for the next one. Other side. Bring your hands to down dog hands. Notice when I place my hands, they touch with the fingertips. It's good. Got good wrists. <laughs> then heels on the wall. Lift your hips. Lift your whole uh right on, right on my hand. the other leg. Right leg. The other leg. And press it into the, the wall. Bring it all the way up. Oops, wait, what did I do? I goofed it up. Right leg in the wall, left leg high. <laughs> and strong arms, strong leg at the wall, strong top leg. Exhale, bend your knee, lower down, and touch down. And all the way down. Ooh. <sighs> Maybe this way. <laughs> all right, last one. Ready? <laughs> this is a surprise for you. It's a surprise for him because I didn't tell him I'm gonna do it. So it's up, down, up, down. It looks like this. <laughs> um, see if I can even do it anymore. Yeah. All right. So hands underneath your shoulders, heels at the wall. Take a breath. Lift your hips. <laughs> you can do anything we've done so far. Or just have some entertainment and watch. <laughs> lift your right, left leg up to the hips. Lift your right leg up. Now strong arms. Bend your left knee, bring your right leg to the earth. Push into the earth, bring it all the way back up. Two more. And last one. And all the way down, and take a break. Woo! Other side. I have an idea. Having the space on either side of this column is pretty good. All right, other side. Ready? Take a breath. Lift your hips. <clears throat> Lift your other leg all the way up. Oops. Is that it? Which one am I on? <laughs> That's the Both legs up the wall. The other leg. Left leg up. <laughs> there we go. Strong arms. Bend your right knee, lower your left leg, touch down. Strong arms, push into the earth. Inhale all the way up. <laughs> and last one. Wow, was that? Okay. That was fun. You said last one, you didn't do it. I did. I think. I think I did three. We'll see when we. Alright, so that'll shift your perspective. <clears throat> so even sitting, you come to seated or wherever you are, come to seated. Take a break. Gonna do a couple little shoulder things. Reap out on the shoulders, bring your hands behind your back again. Clasp them the same way you did. Thumbs at your low, low back. Shoulders up and back, open your throat, stretch your arms straight. Open it up, gentle on the traps. And on an exhale, release. And then you can come back to laying on your mat. That's what I'm talking about. 
out. All right. So bring your heels so they're underneath your knees and your shins are vertical. Feet will be parallel to each other like we were standing. Then bend your elbows. With your breath, lift your shoulders towards your ears so your side bodies get long. From your fingers, press your elbows down so your shoulders move back and shoulder blades come together in deep support, deep remembering that we are all connected. Feel your feet. Feel where your low back or pelvic back of your pelvis is touching the earth. You should have a little gentle curve under your sacrum. You don't want it flat. You got to have a curve. You can even check that by placing your hand on your belly button and your pubic bone and making sure that your pubic bone is at level or slightly below your belly button. That will be safe on your low back and it creates um, a softening in your pelvic floor in a good way. <laughs> With your breath, shoulders up and back, press your elbows, feel your upper back, feel your shoulders, and as you breathe, your whole back expands into the earth. It breathes your life back into the earth and feel your head and elbows. And then on your next inhale, from your palate, that's the focal point that it's moving into. Press your head back, press your elbows down, press your feet down, lift your hips. And then three breaths here. Inhales, draw into your palate, the exhales from your palate, press back. So your throat is open, press your elbows down, and lift your heart higher. And stretch through your knees, stretch through your heels. Inhale all the way into your pelvis, into your palate. Exhale from your palate into the earth, into your elbows, stretch through your knees and heels. On an exhale from your inner groins, from the softness of your groin, lower your so your tailbone touches first. And then just take a moment to feel. You can place your hands on your upper thighs. Just feel the rhythm of that expansive energy that is breathing us and weaving us all together. One more. Feel your feet. Shoulders up and back. Press your elbows down so your shoulder blades come together and your heart is lifting. From your palate, press back, press your elbows down, lift your hips, clasp your hands, weave like a basket underneath. Roll onto your left shoulder, bring your right shoulder toward your ear and toward your spine. Keep your feet steady. Roll on your right shoulder. Move your left shoulder towards your ear and toward your spine. From your palate, press back. From your palate, stretch your arms. Lift your heart higher. Stretch through your knees. Stretch through your heels. Two more breaths. Inhales to your palate. Exhales. From your palate into the earth first, and then through your heart. And on your next exhale, release your hands, soft groins, lower so your tailbone touches first. And then just release your palms. Feel the rivers of life moving through your body. Enlightened with that eternal source that holds us all. The perspective that we are all connected. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Bring your right knee towards your thigh. 
and then your <laughs> right knee towards your chest, weave your hands through, and then just stretch the legs straight. Use your left arm to anchor your right left knee away. And exhale. Bend your right knee, keep the cross, and lower your foot. Bring your hands out in a cactus. So cactus, elbows about in a, like a square where your upper body is. And then side body long, press your hands down so much that your shoulders move back and your shoulder blades support each other. Press your foot down, your right foot down, and lift your hips and move your left cheek where your right cheek was. Engage both shoulder blades so they actively press your heart into, press into your heart. Keep your right shoulder especially engaged as you move your knees towards your left. From keep your toes spread and kind of tilt your sit bones back. Lengthen your right leg with your left ankle. With, from your inner body, fill up and let your inner body from your pelvis turn. Make it so that it turns first and your outer body follows. The last thing that turns to the right is your head. Keep working your right shoulder blade as you stretch your left knee away. Keep working your right shoulder as you twist up your legs away. Inhale your knees back into the center. Shift your hips back into the middle. Exhale, release. And then just notice the difference. Feel your legs, feel your feet, feel your body. Cross your other ankle over, your right ankle over your left knee. Bring your left knee towards your chest, weave your hands through to the back of your left thigh. Basket weave your fingers. Have them not at your knee, but in the mid bulbous part of your hamstrings. Spread your toes. You can either keep your left leg bent or as long as, as long as you can stretch it straight and not like round up, you can stretch it straight. From your pelvis, use your right forearm to stretch your right knee away as you bring your left leg toward you and your right knee away. And on an exhale, lower your left leg, release your hands, lower your foot, keep your cross. Bring your arms and cactus again. Take a breath. Shoulders up and back. Press your hands down. Bring your shoulders back and your shoulder blades together. This time, press your left foot down, lift your hips, move your right cheek where your left cheek was, uh, your bottom was. And then activate your left shoulder blade strongly. It's your rotator cuffs that it just strengthens them and protects them, especially since we did those shoulder things. Bring your knees to the right. Keep working your left shoulder blade. Toes active, sit bones back. From your pelvis, lengthen your left uh, leg tore away from your hips. Use your wrist and your ankle. Inhale, inner body and turn to your left. And the outer body follows. Inhale, lengthen. The inner body turns and the outer body follows. Last thing that goes is your head. So we learn to follow the internal wisdom. The internal wisdom that is fully weaving all of us together. Uh, and then inhale, bring your knees back into the center. Uh, hips back into the middle, release both feet. Bring both knees up towards your chest. 
Wrap your hands around your shins. Give yourself a big hug. Since you can't get close to all of your friends, that was one of the weirdest things. You gotta give your own hug. Always connected in love. And on an exhale, release. Stretch your legs out. Bring your heels so they're wider than your head bones. So they're not going to be like this. Bring them wider. You can look down to see so your feet can fall open towards the corners of your mat. Your upper body, lift your shoulders, press your elbows down again. So your shoulder blades are supportive. Release your palms open, forearms on the ground. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Love. Focus that love and let everything go. All will be well. Really sure. Be. elbows and forearms and your hands. Relax your throat. Let it be open. Gentle smile, your tongue, 
relax in your power. Release the muscles and the skin around your eyes and they soften. Just allow the light of love. 